One question that is asked quite often is how should the purchase amount in the earnest money deposit be tracked and recorded in the expense tracker? So the earnest money deposit is just a deposit of usually around 500 to a few thousand dollars that the buyer gives to the seller up front when they make an offer for a property. And it basically just states that the buyer intends to buy the property from the seller pending any inspections. And if the buyer fails to purchase the property, they may have to forfeit the deposit to the seller. So when the buyer gives the seller an earnest money deposit, these funds are typically held in an escrow account until closing, at which point the earnest money deposit is then applied to the buyer's purchase amount. So for example, if the buyer agreed to buy a property for $100,000 and put down a $1,000 earnest money deposit, the buyer would then owe the remaining $99,000 at closing. So let's put the $1,000 earnest money deposit into the expense tracker as an example. First, we're gonna write the description of the earnest money deposit. And then we're gonna select the bank account that the check was written out of, and then select the vendor who the check was made to, which will likely be the seller of the property. The final selection we need to make is the category. So because the earnest money deposit is credited toward the purchase of the property, I'm gonna select purchase price from the drop-down menu. And then the last thing we need to enter is the amount of the earnest money deposit, which was $1,000. So now that we've entered the earnest money deposit, we need to enter the remaining balance of the purchase price. We will start by adding a new expense to the expense tracker and entering a description of the expense. So let's put remaining purchase balance. Next, we will again need to enter the bank account that was used to pay for the expense and then the vendor that was paid for the purchase. And then select purchase price as our category. For the amount, this time we will enter the remaining purchase balance of $99,000. In the expense tracker, you can now see that we have an initial earnest money deposit of $1,000 that was paid to the seller when we initially made our offer, and then we have a second payment of $99,000, which was a remaining balance paid at closing for a total of $100,000 in purchase expenses. If you have any additional questions at all about how to input your earnest money deposit into the expense tracker, please shoot us a message in chat or send us an email.